We've got some very smart ladies here that are involved in robotics, Casey. Um, some middle school ladies from Fort Mill that are headed to a world competition? That's right. <laughs> the Dominating Dalmatians won the state robotics competition. They need your help to get to this next level. And joining us here live, here they are, Annabelle Takis and Lauren Ponstein. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So we got the whole setup here and we're going to get to that in just a moment. But first we want to start out, what got you two interested in robotics? For me, it was in fourth grade, we had a robotics class where they came to all of the fourth and fifth grade classes and they told us about the robotics program that they were going to be having that year. And I was like, this sounds really interesting to me because it's robotics and I've always been interested in like Legos and building things and creating them and when this came to our school I was really excited about it. Yeah, you jumped right on it, huh? Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, so Lauren had invited me, invited me just last year and I of course got really interested in it because I've always wanted a STEAM career and joined and this is how far we've come. I love it. I love it. So now you ladies mm -hmm built this. Mm -hmm. Try to explain to us what, what are we looking at here? So this is the field for every VEX IQ competition this year and basically you try to get as many points as possible mm -hmm. to, for the, the four different ways. Okay, so you this is the mm -hmm. kind of robot, right, yes. that needs to play on the field. Now what yes. is the goal of the robot? Um, our goal is to get as many balls in the in this bucket as possible and to clear out all five of those balls. Which means to get all five of these balls outside of this line here so that they would be here, for example. Gotcha. Instead move them in, in, move them in and get them into um, the bucket. So are we going to be able to kind of test this out? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get, let's, get, let's give it a roll. This is, right. you know, Casey and I's first time seeing this. I'm really yeah, excited this is to really see cool. how it goes. So this is what it looks like to compete in the competition. Mm -hmm. Yes, except there would be the other part of the field, which is just the same. Yeah, you gave gotcha. us an abbreviated version for our <laughs> yes. set this morning. I see. Okay, let it rip. Let's see. All right. So we need to. Okay, so, first, so here goes. This is on all always. We always grab that ball. Go Ooh. there. Ooh, it's just Look, eat him up. Do you see that? It's like hungry, hungry hippo. Yes. <laughs> I love <laughs> this. So and it's got these gears right that are pulling uh -huh. the balls in from mm -hmm. one side, pulling it back to the other. And, and she's we had added, it too. Yes. we had a, a bar at the very bottom so that when we back up, the balls do not come out from under the spinning what? feeder. You guys thought of everything. Yeah. Wow. And now, now the, oh, wow! And then normally we would switch <laughs> at that time and I would continue driving for the second half. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at these goals. I love it. And so it. you built this. Yes, mm -hmm. from scratch. From that is so scratch. cool. My, this puts my little Legos to shame. I yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you guys are operating it too mm -hmm. with a, a controller, right? Yes. Yeah. This remote is the control. Next IQ controller to help us operate the robot. And we wow. launch two at a time. Mm -hmm. Two at a time? Yes. Yeah. This is, and so this is something that you would be doing at this world competition that's coming up, mm -hmm. right? Yes. yes. Yeah, so we do want to ask you, of course, you are a pair of, of young ladies on a robotics team together, which is mm -hmm. probably very rare. Yeah. What would you yes. like to say to other young ladies that are considering robotics, but maybe they're too scared because it's a predominantly uh, boy thing to do? Uh, for me, I would say do it because we definitely need more females in this type of um, just area and well, it's really fun, especially with us being the only girls at our organization because we've been friends for a really long time. So we already click and we can already um, just communicate well together and we understand each other well versus someone that you've just met that year where they're randomized. Oh, I gotta say, you ladies are so, so inspiring. I mean, what you built is just beyond, I, Casey, how, I would not know. even know where to start. You're putting us to you shame know? for sure. Like, and before we go, we definitely want to ask you, so you are about to compete in the world's competition. Yes. So we want to tell people at home how they can help you get there. Where's the competition and how can people help you get there? The competition is in Dallas, Texas, and you can help us get there by going to Venmo at Girls2Worlds 
and, you know. Just donating there, any amount helps. And for those who have already donated, we really appreciate them because without them, we wouldn't be able to go because it's really yeah. expensive to get yeah, there. What are the reactions from the boys when they see you guys dominating? Well, a lot of them have been really surprised. Mm -hmm. um, and um, they just, well, they say good job, which is nice because, well, if we're the only girls and we're winning, that's really just a great opportunity for us. Well, I love it. You ladies are inspiring young girls everywhere. Congratulations on what you've done so thank far. You. This, thank and thank you. you so much for bringing all of this to show us. And congrats, you're going to take over the world. I, I know it. That's <laughs> right. But first, the world's competition. Yes. And for more information on how you can get them there, log on to our website. That's qcnews.com. And you will find the links under this story. Thanks so much for joining us again, Anna and Lauren. Thank you.